so if this wall stood up and you'll notice there's a little opening here and there's a reason for that so we're gonna have a second floor and the stairs start right here you go up the stairs there's gonna be a platform and then you turn and go up the rest of the way so there's kind of a funny space right here that we're gonna turn into a closet we're gonna have a wall come this way and then that way and then that's gonna be it for a while on walls we want to start making preparations to start building up on the second floor here so the next thing after those walls is going to be some fire blocking so correct me if i'm wrong but fire blocking from what i understand is not required unless your walls are 10 foot tall or taller ours are nine foot but i'm still going to put it in not so much for the fire aspect of it but more so for strengthening the studs here and for uh, straightening them out this one actually is pretty bowed and this is cut to size it uh, definitely does not fit but you could force it in there and then uh, you know that'll be closer to 16 inches on center oh and it is so we're gonna put all the fire blocking in on the inside and we're gonna do blocking on the outside but it's gonna be different and what we do on the inside. We'll explain that when we get there. Let's go ahead and frame up these last two walls. fingers <laughs> gotta be straight there you go oh that's good can we help you with this one yeah okay go ahead oh that's good Okay, hold on. No. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> Someone put it on backwards. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, I was backing those screws out.
Ready? Now that the blocking is all in on the inside, on the interior walls, we're gonna to move to the outside walls here. The blocking's gonna be different. Um, it's not gonna be sitting in there like this. It's gonna be this way. And we're gonna have blocking starting from this height every 16 inches. So here, 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 there. And then the double top plate will take the place of the blocking at the top. There's not gonna be any blocking below here because this is gonna be the rock facade that we're going to have. And the blocking is for our, our own style of siding. We have our sawmill and we're gonna be sawmilling live edge siding for our home. It's gonna look pretty much the same as our shed, but a little better, I think because now we know what to expect. We know what to do, like putting blocking in. I did not put any blocking in when we did our siding over there and we need it to help hold down our custom siding. So that's why every 16 inches, it'll be screwed down. And below that, it'll be the rock facade. If you haven't seen our shed, it's pretty nice. We'll leave a link at the top of the screen right here. Check it out. Um, we'll leave a we'll leave the time lapse video of the the whole build of the shed. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do now. I've got to snap some chalk lines and start nailing these in. And the kids might be a little sad because these were their jenga blocks last time. Taking them.
We're done with blocking. <laughs> that took some time. Yeah, I don't like I don't like it. I don't <laughs> like blocking. Not fun. But this whole section is done. Now, what are your thoughts on blocking? I'm glad you're the one who had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, the cutting to size. Yeah, you did a whole lot of the cutting. Yep. It looks good. It does. And we used all scrap pieces. So we didn't even... We didn't take a bite out of a full-size board, full did Full-size board, no. So that big giant pile of scraps we had over here yeah. is just... That's all that's left. Pieces at this point. <laughs> good. Well, I knew we were going to use pretty much all of that. Yeah. So. <laughs> but uh. I was just glad we didn't have to get into the full-size boards, I guess. Oh, so am I. So now, what? What do you want to do? Now we're going to do some sheeting. Yep. Yes. Sheeting. OSB, it's going up. We're gonna sheet this. I don't know if we'll get all of it done in this video. There's three walls here that are uh, kind of big and long. So here is the half inch OSB. We'll get the forks on the back go and get it a little closer. And I think snap a chalk line down below and start nailing on some sheeting. Cool. See but, in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. I'm done. <laughs> my the arm. The sun is going down. And my arms are tired. Go get it. Here, you work on that one. I'll do this one. <laughs> oh, that was exciting. <laughs> you need some help? I'll get it. I'll get it faster. Fine. <laughs> Watch out, it's gonna get you.
it on this side though. Can you go up? Yeah. Is that as far as you go? Um. It's as far as I can go. Okay. Woo! This is great. Yeah, thanks. So for the OSB sheeting, I am using two inch hot dipped galvanized ring shank nails for the sheeting i've read that that is what is preferred you don't want to use smooth shank for the sheeting there was a comment in our last video about using uh, ring shank for the framing and that is something that i did look into before we got started on the house if i should use ring shank because it'll hold way better than a smooth shank nail but the answer ultimately came out to be to use smooth shank because I guess sometimes when framers are framing, sometimes they got to tear a wall down that they put up and they got to reuse some of the boards. So it's a lot easier to tear apart um, a wall made out of smooth shank versus ring shank. And plus the other um, comments there in the forums was that smooth shank holds pretty well on its own. So that's the reason why on the framing, I went with just the smooth shank and not the ring. Plus, it's a little cheaper to use the smooth. Another thing I've been doing is using my eight foot level. We have the uh, chalk line on the bottom here. So the OSB overlaps the slab just a little bit. And then we go and, and we put a mark with a pencil on the center of each stud. So since these aren't marked, I can line this up and kind of eyeball the bottom is three quarters of an inch away from that pencil line and then I could see the top stud and then I just shoot a row of nails so it's working out pretty good I have very few misses so far there are a handful but the ones we miss I'll we hammer them back out and put them back in in the stud so that is the process that we're going by here and we are about halfway here's here's halfway on the back wall so we got to finish that and then wrap around and see how far we can get on that other wall. All right, okay. we'll see you in the morning. See ya. Ow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that yeah. is my nose. Yeah, you're farther away on camera yeah. than uh, uh, real life, I guess. <laughs> foot are taller than it is required. These are nine foot walls, don't move. Oh my God. I got him, I got him. Okay. Sorry to any Hornet lovers. That guy and his friends have been bugging me for the last few days. Anyway, <laughs> fire blocky. <laughs> and cut. Ah. Really?